Welcome everyone. Today we're diving into Chinese philosophy and the age-old dialogue between legalism, Confucianism, and Taoism. Let's explore their origins, ideas, and lasting impact on the world. Diving right into the turmoil of ancient China's Warring States era, spanning from 475, 221 BC, we confront a time marked by chaos. As the Zhou dynasty's influence diminished, so did the long-standing political and social norms. This intense fragmentation and unrest spawned a wellspring of philosophical exploration and innovation. Legalism, Confucianism, and Taoism emerged as the front runners, each proposing their own vision of societal order and harmony amidst the chaos. Legalism championed strict laws and self-interest, a path famously embodied by the Qin dynasty. Confucianism, on the other hand, put forth the virtues of moral righteousness, respect, and nobility, the ideal notions of a Junzi. Meanwhile, Taoism, inspired by Laozi's teachings, highlighted the essentials of balance, nature-centric simplicity, and Wu Wei, the art of effortless action. Every philosophy sought royal patronage for its ideologies, culminating in an engaging competition that carved the foundations of China's philosophical heritage. As the varied responses to destructive power vacuums, these philosophies offer striking insights into societal stability and human condition during China's fractured past. The establishment of divine rule through the mandate of heaven was key for the Zhou dynasty. Gods granted rule only to those of unassailable virtue, their favor lending an aura of legitimacy to rulers. Yet the Zhou ruler's virtue decayed over time, as corruption took hold and the societal fabric began to unravel. The decline began with an eclipse in 771 BC, viewed as a clear celestial sign. Civil rebellion erupted and natural calamities followed, heralding the loss of the Mandate of Heaven and the fall of the Zhou dynasty. This power vacuum ushered in the Warring States period, a turbulent time of ceaseless warfare and chaos that infused uncertainty and fear into the hearts of common people. Amidst this chaos, three philosophical lights shone brightly, Confucianism, Legalism, and Taoism. Each aimed to restore order, but took divergent paths. Confucianism, established by the Venerable Confucius, appealed to moral integrity, education, and societal roles as keys to harmonious living. Legalism countered with a belief in strict laws and a strong state, espousing unity through control. The reclusive Laozi propelled Taoism, a philosophy that sought balance and harmony with nature, emphasizing spiritual growth and simplicity over societal obligations. These philosophies offered unique avenues towards restoring societal balance during a pivotal era in Chinese history. Fulfilling moral duty and communal well-being are the ambitious goals set forth by Confucianism through the practice of its cardinal virtues. These virtues, encapsulated in three key concepts, start with Ren signifying benevolence. Reminiscent of empathy and kindness, Ren inspires individuals to act with genuine compassion and understanding. Next, we have Li, representing ritual propriety. It venerates respect for societal conventions and rituals, championing harmony. Lastly, Xin, conveying integrity, promotes honesty, laying the foundation for trust within society. Now thoughtfully consider Emperor W. Yu's reign, a testament to these concepts. His ethical governance was deeply molded by these Confucian virtues. Notably, the impact of Ren, Yi, Li, Zi, and Xin extended beyond governance, permeating law, education, even social harmony. Guided by these virtues and principles, the societal structure transforms, flecked with integrity, compassion, and respect. In essence, the foundational bedrock of Confucianism lies in these virtues, giving us an authentic glimpse into this centuries-old philosophy's heart and soul. A realm where ethics and harmony coexist, fostering an ethos that reverberates through an individual's actions and permeates society. Through everyday life, from everyday people to an emperor's lofty halls, we can perceive Confucianism's profound influence. The Taoist wisdom places nature at its heart, enveloping the cosmos in a frame of balance and harmony. A distinctive interpretation of the universe through Taoism's lens discloses a cosmos where all entities are interconnected, with the Tao as the bonding link. This viewpoint births the comprehension of the fundamental yin and yang principle, symbolizing interconnected opposites that maintain cosmic equilibrium. The concept of virtue or di in Chinese parlance, expressed via simplicity, patience, and compassion, stems from this comprehension. 
Notably, Zhou Wang meditation is one such practice fostering these values, encouraging individuals to craft a serene and balanced existence. Coupling this with the intriguing philosophy of Wu Wei, defined as effortless action, our worldview further shifts. Living under the Wu Wei paradigm, Taoism argues, furnishes a seamless blend with nature, augmenting health, clarity, and personal transformation. Just picture the Tai Chi practitioner's fluid movements, exemplifying graceful, spontaneous action embodied by Wu Wei. By unraveling these teachings, Taoism invites us to appreciate the unique interplay between humans and nature, advocating for harmony and compassion. Thus, in the Taoist tradition, each action, thought, and breath moves in sync with the universe, mirroring the ceaseless, harmonious rhythm of nature. Legalism thrived in the chaos of the Warring States period, introducing a unique perspective on societal order. Against the backdrop of waning Zhou influence and rampant corruption, the state of Qin adopted a radically fresh philosophy. Under the tutelage of Han Feizi, Qin brought to life legalism's stern doctrine, emphasizing strict laws, centralized control, and suppressed dissent. Across its reign, Qin meticulously adhered to legalism's principles, utilizing meritocracy as its backbone, fueling a governance marked by efficiency yet scarred by brutality. Shifting frames, humans under legalism were viewed as creatures of inherent self-interest, demanding harsh governance as a smokescreen to inherent selfishness. A stark contrast to Confucian optimism and Taoistic spontaneity, legalism depicted a grim reality of human nature, yet delivered practical governance. Traversing philosophies, Qin Shi Huang, China's first emperor, navigated through a unique blend of these teachings, implementing legalism as his cardinal rule, while Confucianism and Taoism morphed into supplemental philosophies, fostering moral education and natural harmony. A fascinating perspective elucidates through the legalistic lens, each philosophy prescribing divergent solutions to a unified problem theft. Legalism advocates for stringent punishment, Confucianism evaluates societal factors, and Taoism prescribes simplistic living. A testament to ancient China's philosophical diversity, these ideologies underscore the profound influence of societal conditions on philosophical evolution. Diverging paths illuminate society's journey towards harmony. Enlivened by Confucianism's belief in inherent human goodness, society sought moral leadership. The wisdom of benevolence, propriety, and loyalty coveted Confucian virtues, were fostered to build societal order, steering away from inherent chaos. Radically, Taoism cast humans as innately harmonious with nature and proposed societal peace through Wu Wei or non-action. Fostering a naturalistic simplicity disallows chaos from taking root. Conversely, legalism viewed humans as inherently selfish, with society tamed only by a stern hand, rigorous laws, and austere punishments. On analyzing a crime like theft, these contrasting philosophies shine vividly. Confucianism calls for moral education to dissuade criminal tendencies, whereas Taoism recommends simplifying life to reduce materialistic desire and prevent such acts. Legalism prescribes stringent punishments as a forceful deterrent. The views that believe in human goodness and those that cast a suspicious eye reveal starkly different outlooks about societal order, reflecting the richly diverse philosophies of ancient China. The quest for order amidst chaos unravels the complex ethos of these philosophies and their paths towards creating harmonious societies. Amidst the volatile storm of ancient China's philosophical realm, an invigorating exchange of ideals led Confucianism and Taoism to enrich each other repeatedly. The dynamic Zhuge Liang, a noteworthy figure of the Three Kingdoms period, was a living testament to this cross-pollination. Renowned as a brilliant statesman and strategist, he adeptly interwove Confucian, Taoist, and legalist principles, crafting innovative solutions to the complex political situations of his time. Imagine the reign of Emperor Wu during the early Han Dynasty, a period that flawlessly illustrated the pragmatic integration of different philosophies. Despite maintaining profound respect for Confucian ideals, Emperor Wu showed astute openness, he recognized that the rigid, often austere laws of legalism could be adapted to fit within the distinct Confucian framework, thus creating a harmonized governance system that suited the needs of the time. We now shift focus to the enlightening influences that Taoism had on legalism. Wu Wei, the fascinating Taoist mantra of administrative efficiency and non-action, 
found an unlikely ally in legalist minimalism. This unexpected blend softened some harsh laws pointing towards the fascinating philosophical adaptation. Stepping back from the minutiae, we can marvel at the broader impact of these philosophical exchanges. These interactions govern the administrative practices and policies of subsequent dynasties and shape the ethical, political, and societal norms across centuries, resulting in a uniquely Chinese blend of philosophy and governance, painting an enthralling mosaic of the nation's rich cultural and philosophical heritage. Central to the cultural fabric of ancient China, we find three major philosophies, Confucianism, Taoism, and Legalism. As ethics guide personal character, so they also create a societal ethos. Confucianism, with its archetype of a Junzi, instilled the virtues of righteousness in its followers. Taoism, with its calls to meditation and harmony with the Tao, led the mind and spirit toward a serene coexistence with the universe. Legalism, applied first by Qin Shi Huang, illustrates a society bound by strong laws and centralized control. Today, the enduring footprints of these philosophies shape modern society's path. Look to our classrooms across the globe where Confucian values of respect and hard work are cherished, or consider the movements towards environmentalism and wellness, inspired by Taoism's harmony with nature. In the strict governance of many states and corporations today, we see echoes of legalism. Ancient wisdom shapes our present and charts our future. Our societies molded on a philosophical wheel centuries in motion. Through these philosophies, we explore ourselves and our place in the world, guided by a compass from the hearts of our ancestors. Drawing from ancient wisdom, the Taoist principle of Wu Wei, translating as non-action, forges a pathway for modern-day practices of slow living. This concept, mirrored worldwide, resonates profoundly with an increasing global emphasis on sustainable environmental efforts. Shifting to governance, ancient principles also shape modern environments. The core tenets of Confucian ethics, underpinning meritocratic structures, are evident within today's public domains, notably influencing Singapore's civil service. Deeper echoes of ancient wisdom reverberate in the company of strict rules and uncompromising penalties, with zero-tolerance policies paralleling essential aspects of legalist doctrines. This convergence across millennia illustrates the ageless relevance of these philosophical teachings their insights molded into the structures and practices that uphold our societies. In our world today, ancient wisdom endures, shaping a blueprint for global movements, ethical leadership, and effective legal frameworks. This timeless knowledge drawn from Confucianism, Taoism, and legalism continues to navigate our journey, enriching modern lives with enduring insights from a bygone era. Having delved into the depths of ancient Chinese philosophies, we see that Confucianism, Taoism and legalism were born amidst turmoil, each championing their unique path to societal harmony. Confucianism proposed an order founded on ethics, Taoist principles emphasized harmony with nature, and legalism carved out a stringent, law-bound society. The world today is proof of their enduring influence. From corporate governance that echoes legalist principles of strict controls and meritocracy, to environmental sustainability movements that mirror Taoist simplicity, and nature-centric views, their influence remains imprinted in our societies. Relating these ancient philosophies to personal development, we find Confucian ethics guiding moral correctness, promoting respect and benevolence, reflecting in our interpersonal relationships and self-discipline. The timeless wisdom from these ideologies continues to inspire us, presenting a treasure trove of strategies to tackle contemporary challenges. Their essence encourages us to deeply introspect to gauge how these philosophies accentuate our understanding and provide guidance to navigate the perplexities of the modern world.